Three, two, one. Just, just barely got it. Moving like the speed of sound. What is going on, guys? This is Bullet Train HD, and welcome back, guys, to the channel with another Gran Turismo 2 video with a drift build of the Lexus SC300 on the channel. Um, another, this actually was, wasn't really requested, but I did say that this was going to be another video coming soon. This was a little over a month ago. E easy, um, because that's his name, uh, it will pop up on the screen. But before we do this, all my links are down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get into it. So easy. So I've seen uh, GT2 drift you, wait, drifters using at least negative 0.5 camber, 0.5 camber in the front and the rear. So after I read that, I said, I told him, I said thank you. He said you're welcome. And from there, well, that's what happened. So um, we're gonna do this drift build because. I said I was going to do another drift build over a little month ago, so we're going to be using the racing series of the Lexus. I basically just put a racing kit on it, which Grand Turismo does not have. That's also what I do miss. So I just kind of, like I said, I threw this racing kit on there, and I guess I full, I didn't fully tune it. I did not throw any engine parts. I just threw muffler, level stage, I think stage four turbo. And that was really all. And I got simulation tires and I got sports tires on there. So we're going to do the sports tires first. And then we're going to do the simulation tires second. Before we get into this though, I have to change my controller. Alright, now, we are, I don't know what track we're going to be drifting on. Uh, as far as this goes though, like I said, leave me your thoughts down below. What do you guys want me to do next for the next drift tune? And I'm a big, I'm gonna say big thank you to Easy for letting me know about the camber situation, which I didn't know I should adjust my camber, which that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video specifically. We are gonna be drifting at this circuit because we used the NSX Type S0 Acura. And um, yeah, there it is, the time trial. We're just doing a, like I said, a drift build series. And you guys really enjoyed it. Six like seventy two views, I think. Which you know you guys I guess really enjoyed that video. I'm like, hey, I took my time out of the day to do this one. So let's see what we can do with the stock tune. Just it as it is right now. That wasn't so bad. We only go around three laps, test the tune out, see what happens from there. Like I said, all I did was throw a turbo on here. I didn't want to increase the horsepower any more than it is. All right, it doesn't feel that good. All we have to do is just you know, like I said, you know, just try it once. Alright, yeah, it feels kind of stiff. Maybe we need some more acceleration. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I think these are the racing soft tires, or the soft tires, or sports, whatever, that we're using currently. Yeah, but this is the racing kit, which, you know, Grand Turismo doesn't even have anymore. You can install a racing kit to your stock streetcar shit, which is pretty cool and unique because, you know, it's optional. You got to go with the racing build that you currently made with your car, which costs 85 grand. Or you can go with the stock racing car that you made. Yeah, this car handles fairly well, though. We're gonna go around one more lap though. Let's see what we can do. I'm impressed. The handle's pretty good. I hope we can get around this turn up here though. Also, this car needs a little bit more 
acceleration through the turns so we can get more wheel spin. And also I gotta fix the differential. Yeah, it definitely needs some more power spin. I only had 85 grand left, I think. So, I'm just doing what I have for right now. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. Whoa. As far as this tune goes, uh, haven't tuned it, just driving it for the second lap. Just seeing how it handles, exactly how I bought it, with all the parts. And it doesn't handle too bad, but it does need a tune. That was good. Always that turn where I get it. Like I said, this thing, the camera needs to be adjusted. That handles fairly well. So, um, yeah, not so bad at all. All we have to do is tune it. So let's get, so here we are at the tuning, um, Definitely lower this thing. Um, camber. Should do the camber around five, front and rear. So we're gonna do exactly that and see how this goes. Because, like I said, this is Grand Turismo Five. I mean, I said five, Grand Turismo Two. So hopefully we can make out with the camber. I really, really freaking hope so. And, uh, yeah, so, huh. Let's, let's do it, I guess. Take the brake down a little bit. Sports, not gonna have it too wide. Downforce. Um. A little bit of cornering. Uh. Hard. Not too hard. I've definitely upped this up a little bit. Um, we're gonna change the tire settings too. So. Sports. We're gonna switch to simulation. And see how it handles. I'll see you guys on the track. <clears throat> Here we are, part two, on the track. Simulation tires. Then a little bit of tune settings, and also just the camera. Oh shit. Okay, it feels a little bit alright. It's, it's starting to handle. I mean, give me some time, okay? Simulation tires, throw these on. Feels like this car needed a little bit more horsepower, but... I mean, I didn't put nothing in the engine, so I guess that's the issue. And walk. This is what we can do right here. And... <laughs> it's fun drifting in this game, I'm not gonna lie. So much camber on this thing, jeez. So much damn camber. Let's see what we can do. Oh! So these simulation tires are not agreeing with me. Then again, I've never really driven with these tires. It drifts pretty good though. Like I can feel it, like I really can. I 
Okay, so the two teams are alright. I need time to get used to it. It's a little bit hard to get used to. Just, just barely got it. Just barely getting it right now. I'm trying. Lower this thing like crazy though. Let's see if we can get around that turn. Yeah, I didn't really. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That wasn't so bad. Come on. Come on, baby. See, I got enough will spend. Definitely got enough will spend. For Thank you, Easy, for uh, letting me know for this, uh, this camber situation, man. It's actually kind of working out for me. But the tune still need a little bit more adjustment. And then, yeah, the differential. So yeah, we're driving with the simulation tires. They seem to handle very well with the car. Very, it's very, very different. Let you guys know this right now. It's very different. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with the tires. I'm just not very good at drifting on here because this it's it's, it's a different game, okay? It's a different game. Give me. Alright, we're gonna try to tune it a little bit more and we're gonna switch the tire count. Back on the track again. Switch tire compounds, different tune, and it seems the seems the it feels pretty good, I guess. Come on. All right, maybe these sports tires do come in handy rather than simulation. I don't know. So I made the tune a little bit different. I did go with the five camber in the front and the back. It did work for me, but I don't know. This seems to be fair enough, I guess. Alright, yep. These feel a little bit grippy. Oh god. Yeah, I should have put the engine in here, engine upgrade, but I didn't. Stupid move. Because I figured the turbo would give me enough wheel spin. But, turns out it really doesn't. Yep. I'm gonna try the 5.5 camber, 5.0, one more time. Alright, let's 
try that again. And also, I did a little bit more tuning fans, but I don't know. It's hard to get comfortable with this car. It really is. I'm trying my hardest. I think the simulation tires did it work. Did the work because it's simulation. And these tires don't seem like they're doing their job. Yeah, back here again on the track. Simulation tires, let's go. But the simulation seems to work. See what I mean? Slidey as crap. Easy, the simulation tires also does the works for the car. The sports does not work very well. They're not very grippy, they're very slidey. But this is a different game. I know my two can be better, but this is the first. <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's the simulation tires. They definitely do the works for this car. Definitely, yeah, these tires work. I'm gonna say big thank you to Easy for letting me uh, know about the camber and making this video happen. And Panifine Digital for an awesome game. See, I can get the tire to spin, which is good. Lexus, man. Come on. Hard to really get this thing to stay. It really is. Unless if it's just me. Car spin, yep. check. Car, check. Um, driver, not check. Should I have upgrading the engine? Yeah. Did I have enough money to really do anything? No, not really. I'm going around one more time. One more time. One more time. Because I'm really, really just trying to keep this car from really spinning out like that. The camber, say, the cam the camber situation is working out well. I just got to, you know, get the hang of this shit, you know? Whoa. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't tap that wall. Alright, we're good. No grass life this time. Very proud of you, Alexis. Come on. This camera does work. 20 seconds behind my ghost. Alright, don't care. I'm gonna do this. Wow, that didn't work. Oh my gosh, come on! You can't even stay. Like I said, very good tune. Thanks for the, like I said, thank you again, Easy, for the camber situation, which I had trouble with. The simulation tires are, like I said, doing the works. This is Bullets for AT, guys. I hope you enjoyed this drift tune video. 
Um, it's not so bad. I should have upgraded the engine, but I didn't do that, so I can get a little bit more power out of the car. I figured the turbos would work only. But uh, in the next video like this, you you guys will see something a lot better than what I just made. We're moving like the speed of sound. I want to say a big thank you guys for coming down. If you guys not new already, subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. This is Bullets for an AC, guys. We're moving like the speed of sound. I'm out. Let's hit some jumps. Peace. Like, like, like a bullet train